Hey, what's up? I'm Alex Farnham. This is Animalist News, and today I present to you the weirdest dog facts. Now, if anything ever proved that dogs are man's best friend, it's that an estimated one million dogs in the United States have been the primary beneficiaries in their owner's will. Even the Beatles' Paul McCartney was crazy about his pooch. Rumor has it that at the end of the song, A Day in the Life, the singer snuck in a super high-pitched whistle so that his Shetland sheepdog could enjoy it. But McCartney isn't the only famous dog lover. Former President George Washington frequently wrote about his 36 foxhounds. But for such a regal man, he sure did give them weird names. Among the bunch was Drunkard, Tipsy, and Sweet Lips. It's no wonder people are so bounded to dogs because we've been owning them for nearly 12,000 years. In fact, did you know that spiked dog collars were originally created by ancient Greeks? A little less chic than our collars today. These bad boys were made from leather and sharpened nails. Golly gosh. Back in those days, they were less of a fashion statement and more of a necessity. These spiky collars help protect sheepdogs' throats from fatal wolf attacks while defending farm animals. One thing's for sure, dogs don't need any protection for their eyes. All dogs have not one, not two, but three protective eyelids. The third eyelid, also called the haw, keeps moisture in the eye and cleans the cornea. When the haw closes, it may look like a dog's eyes are like rolling back in his pupils, but it's just because they're covered. What's your favorite thing about dogs? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to check out these videos over here. Subscribe, share this with your dog-loving friends. And until next time, I'll see you hairy mammals later.